Greetings, I am Chaos, and welcome to my channel here at Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. We are your source for board gaming, miniature gaming, dice gaming, card gaming, product unboxings, and even live D&D role play. Today, we will be witnessing a battle played between myself and Spartan, a buddy of mine, where we play the two Zendikar Rising Commander decks of Obun, the Maldaya Ancestor, and Anawan, the Ruin Thief. We played this some time ago. They have released this weekend for the new sets on the Commander Legends, so I wanted to get these out and kind of show some of the details from the previous set so we will be getting that underway shortly if you would like to help support the channel please do hit the uh, donate i'll put that in the description below also i will put my link to twitch where we also do many different things as far as video gaming streaming live DD, and a lot of other stuff as well so please do like subscribe hit that bell notification so that way you get notified when we put some more videos and content up but with that, we will go ahead and get underway. Thank you very much for joining us. Starting us off, Spartan is the first to play. He plays an island and passes. I draw for turn. And I play a command tower. And pass. Spartan draws for turn and plays an island, tapping for two and casting Arcane Signet. I draw for turn and play a Plains and pass. Spartan draws for turn, taps three mana and casts Command Sphere. He plays Demir Aqueduct and returns an island to hand. F I draw for turn. And I play a mountain. I tap for three and cast Elvish Rejuvenator. Drawing five cards. Selecting one from among them, which is Gruel Turf, and playing that. Returning a mountain to my hand. Spartan plays an island for turn. He taps for four to cast Anawan, the Ruin Thief. And then taps for two more to play Military Intelligence. And he passes. I draw for turn. And play a mountain from hand. Tapping for three to play Fertilid. Comes into play with two 1-1 one, one counters on it. And I pass. Spartan draws for turn and plays an island. And he passes. I tap four and cast Obun, the Maldaya ancestor and I pass Spartan draws for turn plays an island and casts Seer Conrad the Grim And he passes. I draw for turn. I play a forest. I pay two to activate Fertilid's ability. Searching my deck for a land that comes into play tapped. This activates Obun's ability, where I put a 1 1 counter on Fertilid. I proceed to do this two more times.
Spartan draws for turn and plays Demir Guildgate. He pays four mana and casts Distant Melody. Beginning of the combat, he attacks with Anawan and Seer. I choose to use the Rejuvenator to block Seer and take two commander damage from Anawan. He passes turn. I draw for turn. I pay three mana to cast Living Twister. Using paying one green mana to use Living Twister's ability to return a forest to my hand. I play that forest as my land for the turn which triggers Obun's ability to put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. Now here I make the error of putting it on Obun instead of putting it on Fertilid. Fertilid is a 0-0, zero, zero, but we correct it here shortly. And then I pay 2 mana to activate Fertilid's ability to search my library for a land. And then I activate the ability once more to bring a forest into play. There again, activating a wound's ability to put a 1 1 counter on target creature. And then I pay 2 mana once again to activate Fertilid's ability where I remove a 1 1 counter to put a planes into play. I realized that I had made the mistake with the 1-1 one, one counters and Fertilid would have died if I had removed the last counter, so I trade the counter from Obun himself over to the Fertilid. Beginning of combat, I choose to attack with the Fertilid and also with Obun. Spartan has no blockers. So he takes six damage, four of which is commander damage. And I pass turn. Spartan draws for turn. Spartan pays six mana to cast Spinal Embrace. He takes control of my Fertilid. He then attacks with uh, Sire, Anawan, and Fertilid. I block Fertilid with the Living Twister, which will therein kill the and kill the Fertilid. Living Twister will survive, and then taking seven damage from Sire and Anawan. Two of which is Commander. At this point, I have taken four commander damage from Anawan. After that, he passes turn. I draw for turn. I tap five mana to cast Zendikar Royal. I then activate Living Twister's ability for one green mana to return a land to my hand. And then I play a forest for my land for the turn. This activates Obun's ability where I put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. I pay two mana to play Harrow, sacrificing a mountain to it to search my library for basic lands. I put a forest into play. This landfall ability once again activates Obun's ability 
where I put a 1-1 one, one counter on him and also play a mountain, also activating Obun's ability. Giving him two additional 1-1 one, one counters. I pay three mana to play ca to cast Far Wanderings. This activates Obun's ability to put a forest in the play, activating Obun's ability to put a 1-1 counter on him. With Zendikar Royal in play, this also gives me three 2-2 green elemental creature tokens. At the beginning of combat, Obun's ability will activate and turning one of my lands into a elemental. And Obun, as well as the Elemental, will attack Spartan. He will take 16 damage, 8 of which is Commander damage. And I pass turn. Spartan draws for turn. He will play... He will pay two mana to cast Night Veil Spirit. beginning of combat he will swing with sire and anawan I block Sire with one elemental and double block Anawan with two of my two two green elemental creatures. Two of my two two green elemental creatures will die and Anawan will die. Spartan pays three mana. To cast Soul Manipulation. And then pays four mana to recast Anawan the Ruin Thief. And he passes turn. I draw for turn. I play a myriad landscape. Obun's ability activates, and I place a 1-1 one, one counter on him. Uh, 
I pay three mana to pass Naya Charm. I choose to return Harrow to my hand. I then pay three mana to cast Haro. I sacrifice a forest to Haro. And I search my library. To bring a planes. And another forest to play. This gives me three more two two green elemental creature tokens. Uh, these lands coming into play activate Obun's ability where he gets two more 1-1 one, one counters. I pay five mana in order to cast Return of the Wild Speaker. I choose to give non-human creatures 3-3 three, three until end of turn. Beginning of combat, I turn a Plains into an 11-11 elemental creature token. I choose to attack with Obun. The 11-11 elemental creature token and the 2-2 El, uh, green elemental creature, all of which get plus three, plus three until end of turn. Spartan blocks with his spirit and Anawan taking 11 damage from the elemental. Anawan returns to the command zone. And knowing that next turn he has no way to answer with the amount of damage that I have coming his way next turn, we decide to scoop and end the match.